So here we are at WordPress.com and in this first lesson we're going to show you how to sign up for a new WordPress.com account. So on the home page you just click sign up now on the orange button and it brings you in, into a pretty simple page you just literally have to follow the steps. So the first step is what will your new blog address be? So I'm going to just create one on the fly here let's call it biztips4u.wordpress.com and that name already exists so let's try something else. Let's say business. How about small biz tips for you? Hey, hey, we did that one. So there we go. Um, it's it's offering you to upgrade this blog um, for seventeen dollars a year. I'd say don't bother with that for now. Make sure you're comfortable with blogging first. Um, your username can be the same if you want as your blog. However, if you plan on running a whole different number of WordPress blogs, you might want to pick a username that's a little bit easier to remember, maybe your own name, whatever. You decide that. Here, I'm just going to leave the defaults. We're going to pick a password, confirm the password, and then use an email address. Once you've entered your email address, you can click this checkbox here that says subscribe to our blog to learn about new themes, features, and other news. You decide whether or not you want that. I don't want that, so I'm just going to click sign up. And if you're using Firefox, I might ask you if you want to remember that password. I'm just going to say not now. Then it says check your email to complete the registration. An email has been sent to whatever your email address is to activate your account. You have to go into your inbox as soon as possible. Um, usually it arrives right away. Sometimes you have to wait a few minutes. And you've got to activate that account in, or in order to be able to use it. You also have to do that within two days. Otherwise you'll be forced to sign up again. However, just before you go in to check your email, you can put some additional information about yourself here. Um, this, is your, this is basically your WordPress profile. This is where you can put your personal name or your company name, or if you're writing under um, some other kind of pen name, you can put all that information here and type out a little bio about yourself. I'm going to skip that step. So I just went into my email inbox, I clicked the, uh, the little link that they gave me to register, to complete my registration, and then what happens is it brings you back to the WordPress.com website where it says your account is now active and it just confirms your username here. You're basically at the point now where you can move on to lesson two and start working with your new blog.